Hello, this is Ted Wagoner of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins. Uh, we're here for the legal moment, and Scott's behind the camera today, so he'll bail us out if we need anything. <laughs> to my right, your left, is Andy Perkins, my partner of, uh, what, uh, eight or ten years, and to my left is Rachel Arndt, who's been with the firm for eight years now. Um, we thought we'd just talk a little bit about the history of the firm. 1965, Bob Peterson uh, showed up at the office after having had his office manager, Mabel Blackader, unlock the door. And uh, uh, he came in after a cup of coffee and they started a law firm. Uh, since then, we've had a number of lawyers in and out of the firm, but these are the three lawyers you find when you come to the office today. Andy, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I uh, was originally from Peru, Indiana, and I did my undergraduate at uh, Wabash College in Crawfordsville, and then uh, uh, law school at what is now the uh, McKinney School of Law in Indianapolis, and uh, started at Peterson Wagner Perkins in 2001. Uh, at that time, the building we're in now on 10th Street was, I think, about five months old. That's right. And uh, uh, so I didn't have the experiences of having uh, to practice law in the Centennial Tower that uh, you and Bob got to do. And right. uh, uh, so I uh, became a partner in uh, 2007? Something like that. 2008, something like that. And um, uh, have enjoyed my time in <laughs> Rochester and uh, 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 gotten a lot out of... Uh, uh, the practice of law, I get to do different things every day, and I, I would appreciate, always appreciate that aspect of it. Good, good. Rachel, you came from the north. Yes, I grew up in uh, Culver, Indiana, and went to Boston for undergraduate. Um, I, I have a corporate finance and accounting degree from a business school out there uh, called Bentley University. It was Bentley College when I went there. Uh, I went to law school in Valparaiso, graduated in 2009 and joined the firm as an associate in 2009 after having uh, served as an intern in 2008 here. So uh, my husband and I moved to Rochester uh, in 2009 right before I started at the firm and we've been here ever since. Good. And my background started at Indiana State. I grew up in Franklin but went to college at Indiana State and to law school at the uh, Maurer School of Law now in Bloomington. Um, came here right out of law school in 1978 uh, to join Bob Peterson and Doug Morton who was still with the firm prior to being elected judge. Bob retired now four years ago I think it's been. Sounds about right. And um, we've been operating in that manner ever since. Rachel, talk about your practice just a little bit. I know you've had a couple of uh, legal moments and have talked about some areas of practice. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, the largest practice area that that, uh, <clears throat> that I have right now is family law. Uh, I think we've talked earlier, family law is uh, divorces, adoptions, guardianships, a lot of uh, issues that touch the family. That's, um, like I said, my largest practice area. And then since we're a, uh, a general practice firm, I do a little bit of everything. I've done some contract work, uh, I do some, some corporate work, and then also uh, assist with the uh, school board. So I have an educational law practice. And for a time, I did some municipal law. So I represented the town of North Judson. Uh, Culver for a while had a park, park board. So I represented uh, them until the park board disbanded. And uh, then I've, I've done quite a bit of criminal defense work as well. Uh, starting out, you need, you need, uh, you need experience in, in front of the court and in front of a judge. And so I, have, I still have one of the conflict public defender contracts, which means that if the, um, if the public defenders who are generally appointed, if they're not able to serve for one reason or another and they need someone, uh, I can get appointed. And Andy, more about your practice? Uh, most of my practice is divided among uh, uh, municipal work. I'm the attorney for the city of Rochester and two of the towns here in the county, uh, as well as uh, estate and probate work and uh, civil litigation. Uh, I also do appellate work. Um, I got started on that uh, also through the public defender's office, and I still do some of that, but I also do civil appeals as well. Huh. And uh, uh, 
uh, although I don't do as much family law now as Rachel does, uh, I do still uh, do some family law matters from, from time to time. Good. But uh, And you, Ted, what are you working on? I do what's generally considered transactional work. A lot of contracts, a lot of work with the businesses and employers uh, don't do very much in the way of litigation. And we talk to clients and I usually hand one of those off to either Andy or Rachel because I've seen their work and I'm pleased with what they do for, their, for our clients. Uh, but I do the school board work, I do some economic development work still in areas outside the uh, municipalities that uh, either Andy or Rachel represent, which means pretty much the county right now uh, outside of the city of Rochester or the, city of, the town of Akron or uh, Bolton. So, um, but it's the kinds of things where we do an awful lot of estate planning for people. We talk to people about uh, mom or dad maybe needing to go into the nursing home, uh, how we handle those situations, uh, how we handle the federal and state regulations around um, the entry into nursing homes and the Medicaid payments, uh, Medicare and Social Security issues. So there's a lot of that involved. Um, been doing most of that for nearly 40 years now, uh, having come in June of uh, 1978, so it won't be long. And um, uh, and that's one of the reasons that when we talk about our law firm, which is here at 125 East 10th Street, that we talk about it being the law firm for today and for your future legal needs. We're planning to be here for a number of years, and uh, if you have an issue that we can help you with today, and maybe help you with five or 10 years from now, or even longer, uh, we expect one of us, maybe all of us, probably not all of us, but one of us will be here. 